Hey on the rise, I'm here today with another match critique from one of our UTR tennis matches. We're doing a little bit different format. We're gonna start out, hit up the three big things I thought both players could work on. I'm gonna show you some drills that go over ways they can help improve these three big items. And then after that, I'm gonna show a little bit of their match play and go over some of the smaller details of maybe they made a strategy error or a few other things like that that are smaller but can add up to a big difference in their game. So let's dive right into it and get to the three drills I would recommend for these two players to do. The first thing that I noticed when watching this match is there were a lot of errors on their returns. That's a big thing that I've seen with a lot of the players in our program and just a lot of players in general. So today at Drills, we're gonna be doing this drill. We're gonna focus more on the returning portion rather than the serve and just focusing on getting that ball back in play up the middle. I'm gonna set a cone up in an area right at the middle where it's a big target. We're gonna work on hitting that target on the return. And then we're gonna add a second thing in there. Where I'm gonna have them work on kind of chipping returns back. Because it is important that if maybe you're struggling a bit with your top spin return, hey, maybe you gotta chip them back in just to kind of get the point started. The second big thing that I noticed with both players is that they need to give themselves more room or more margin of error on some of their ground strokes. So we're gonna run some baseline games, having big targets to start the point where players are gonna get penalized if they miss in the net or wide. Uh, one of the big things I notice is that when kids are in offensive positions, they tend to miss net or they miss it wide and you just can't do that. You gotta give yourself a bigger target. You're in control of the point, play the big shot with the big target and make the other player come up with something special. Hey guys, before we get into the third drill that I think would really help both of these players, if you like the content and you think it's been helping your game, consider subscribing to the channel right here. The third drill that I'm gonna do to help both of these players is get them coming to the net and working on that volley. I thought in this match they did a good job coming into the net at the correct times, but they struggled with putting that first or second volley away when they were in a really good position. So in this drill, I keep it really simple, feed, approach shot, passing shot to start the point. That way we're working on all the critical things that you need to get to the net and be successful. Something small that I noticed for Kiera is on her serve, you can tell she's always, she's very flowy throughout the whole thing and there's never really a pause before she starts her initial take back. She just kind of flows up into it and flows right into her service motion. I've always found that for many players, this is just another thing that can not help you be consistent with the serve. So I always like to say, do your bounces, whatever your routine is, get set, and then start the motion back. A small tip that I have is uh, in this situation, Max, his on the deuce side when he's serving, his back leg is crossing that imaginary hash mark or middle line. Technically, this is a foot fault. Uh, I just want to, it's something for him to be aware of. Is anyone really gonna call it? No, probably not, but it's something he should at least be aware of. Overall, both players' games have taken a huge jump since the summer. It's been a lot of fun to watch and see. Once they get the point started, they, they were doing a really good job being consistent, making balls and developing points. So it's been really fun to watch. Hey guys, if you're still watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and comment down in the comment section below if there's anything that you would like to see us cover.